Hey guys, it's RVC here and I'm back again with another video. Should you get the Xiaomi 11T Pro in 2023? Well, let's find out. Like all current flagships, the 11T Pro has glass front, which is Gorilla Glass Victus, aluminum frame and glass back, which most people confuse to be plastic. With all the materials, the phone feels premium and well built. The glass at the back attracts fingerprints and therefore it would be a good idea to put the silicone case provided. Reduce this and also protect the phone. The fingerprint is side mounted and doubles as a power key. I personally prefer this but some people don't. Moving on. The 11T Pro is still a premium smartphone that offers a powerful processing power. The Snapdragon 888 offers awesome performance. With 8GB of RAM, it's enough to take any applications or game you throw at it. It should be ok for daily and general use. You can get the 12GB RAM version, but I don't really think it's necessary. When the 11T Pro came out, the main focus was the 108MP camera. Anyway, we have the 108MP main camera with f1.8 aperture. An 8 megapixel ultra wide camera with f2.2 aperture that covers 120 degrees. And finally, a 5 megapixel tele macro camera with f2.4 aperture. I would have preferred a tele zoom camera instead of this, but that's not the case here. The cameras take good pictures with great colors and contrast, especially the main 108 megapixel camera. Photos produced in low light are okay. Not great, because it doesn't have the OIS. The camera UI packs a lot of options, from Pro mode photos to 8K videos. You can also shoot HDR videos with this phone. The 5000 mAh battery sounds great on paper, but that's not the case here. The battery life is not terrible, but it's okay. Getting the whole day of battery juice won't be a problem, if you are a moderate user. This shouldn't be a deal breaker since the phone has a 120 watt charging brick and it also packs a lot of battery features to curb this problem. Switch to dark mode would also reduce the power consumption since the phone packs an AMOLED screen. Speaking of the screen, the 6.67 inch AMOLED of the 11T Pro is amazing. It's bright, vivid and produces sharp text. It also supports HDR10 Plus with Dolby Atmos. Viewing content on the screen is just amazing. With all that being said, the 11T Pro is still a solid device with good build quality, battery life, camera and great performance. I would definitely recommend the 11T Pro if you are on a tight budget since the prices are going down. Well, for today that's it, thanks for watching and if you have any questions please drop it in the comment box below. If you liked this video please give it a thumbs up, if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do so, share this video and I guess I'll have to see you in the next one. Bye.